Peace, family. This is Lions here with another news and commentary. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say like this, that thanks to... Um, this is an article from News One. A Texas is doing everything in its power to lock a black woman for voting. Crystal Mason was sentenced to prison for the same crime a white woman was simply fined for. Here's why. Um... You may you may have heard the name Crystal Mason. She is a 43-year-old black woman in Fort Worth, Texas, who attempted to vote during the 2016 general election, but was later told that she committed voter fraud because she was on supervised release for a nonviolent crime. Her provisional ballot was not counted, but she was still given a five-year prison sentence. Her lawyer asked for a new trial, but Judge Ruben Gonzalez har- harshly refused in June and has insisted on, on locking up the mother of three. She has been free on bond pending appeal, but that could change at any moment. Mason, who, along with her lawyers, Allison, uh, Allison uh, Jenner and Kim Cole, was guests on the Clay Kane show on Sirius XM Urban View on Thursday said when she voted on election day, she was on supervised release for tax fraud. Who would imagine after you get out, you re- you rehab- you re- you re- <laughs> rehabilitate yourself, excuse me, in society. You get a job, you do what you're supposed to do, and you go out and vote, not knowing that right w- was stricken and you get sentenced to five years, she asked. Again, I'm not on supervised release, no one told me I didn't sign any paperwork saying that I was ineligible to vote. I was told to not be around guns, felons, and drugs. I had no idea I would never did that. In what seems like a double standard, a white woman from Iowa named Terry Lynn Roach was convicted of voter fraud for trying to vote for President Donald Trump twice. She was sentenced to two-year proba- probation and a $750 fine. This is America. While Roe intentionally broke the law, Texas law for convicted felons voting is not so cute and dry. Ginner Mason lawyers explained on the Clay Kane show, the choice, is, the choice to prosecute is the real injustice. The law in Texas is unclear whether she is or she or is not an eligible voter. Some states disqualify us all felons. Texas doesn't. As soon as you have finished your time and paid your debt, you can you can you are a real citizen again. Jenner says Crystal was on supervised release, which is a program designed to regenerate people back into society after they finish their federal terms. She had no way of knowing that the DA would decide that her vote is a threat. The selective prosecution is a scene of a lot in Tarrant County. So, why does a white woman who intentionally committed voter fraud receive no jail time, but Mason is sentenced to five years? Gentry said Mason was specifically being targeted because she is a black woman. When people of color hear hear about this, they hear loud and clear the message that, that the district attorney is sending, and that is, the voting booth is not for you, she says. Everyone knows that we have over po- over, um, po- uh, pol- over policed and over prosecuted communities of color. Efforts like this are not only meant to discourage people of color from voting; they're also meant to drum up the kind of evidence that vote that folks will need in the legislature to pass legislation that absolutely proven to discourage minority voting and to suppress mi- a minority vote. Cole. Mason's civil rights lawyer also revealed Texas was trying to incarcerate her immediately. They are now trying to revoke her federal supervised release, which will send her immediately to jail. We are fighting, we are fighting that as well. If they are successful in revoking the, her federal supervised release, she immediately goes to jail, Cole said. This is clearly a tragedy, and Fort Worth, Texas is obviously using Jim Crow tactics to lock up a black woman who clearly does not deserve to be in jail. Cole and Ginter are working pro bono, but Mason still additional counsel. There are others who can assist with other aspects of this case. However, they require payment, Cole explained. If you would like to 
help Crystal, please click here for a GoFundMe page to spread the word. Um, and listen to a clip from below of Crystal Mason, the Clay King show on Sirius XM Urban View on Thursday. Um, I'm going ahead and play this uh, interview, which is a three minute interview, and then I'm going to finish the rest of my commentary. So here he is. Okay, I guess I couldn't play it. I'm sorry that I, I was want to play this to see what she says. But realistically, this is basically a, a case of double standard when it comes to racism in America. Um, obviously, you see what's going on. Basically, in one state, you have a, a black woman who's been convicted, quote unquote, of voter fraud. And spending, I believe, I'm just trying to read this. Okay. Oh boy, 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 boy. This is crazy. But sp of course, they're using Jim Crow tactics, and is spending four for four years imprisonment. Was a white woman who's just spending uh, for probation and paying paying a fine. But but people want to know why. You already know why. Because the woman's white, white privilege, and it happened in Iowa. So basically, in Iowa. She can basically get probation and pay a fine when a sister has to spend, spend, in, spend years in jail for the same crime a white woman has in a different state. Obviously, again, this is going to show, ladies and gentlemen, that, again, um, it, like um, Childish Gambino always said, this is America. When you have, like I said, we're living in two Americas. When one on one side... And the other side, how they've been treated, and see now you, you and you look at the state of Texas that if if it was a white woman, if it was a white person do the same thing to a sister now, I don't think she would do any jail time. She probably do just like the white woman in Iowa do um, having probation and pay a fine. So it's just basically a double standard, and this is really serious that a sister had to go back to jail. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous on how the system, like I said, I told you before, the criminal justice system. And at the end of the day, you have it basically really, realistically, ladies and gentlemen, it's tragedy. What we're seeing right now is really tragic that this woman is going back to jail. Obviously, it's it's basically double standard, and we basically is seeing. That it's happening time and time again. It's okay for a white person to do it, but not okay for a black person to do it. But it is what it is, and this is just so sad that we is going back to the fifties and sixties now. That it's okay for a white person to get away with it, which is white privilege, and a black person do the same thing will spend the rest will spend some time in jail. I'm telling you, this is I'm telling you, I told y'all before, this is for real. And it clearly seen right right in this video. I'm writing this article. So I hope basically I hope they didn't send her back to jail. I don't think she deserved going back. Um, she just she was all she did was trying to vote. Even though she, I mean she did her she did her time in prison. She basically she served her time, and still the the justice system don't care if she did her time that they would do everything they can not to let her vote. Wow. Leave me a comment. Tell you th what you think. Tell me what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Johnson channel for any news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions signing off. Deuces.